We are back, and Hugh Jackman went on Twitter and he divulged to the world what it takes to become Wolverine. And we're going to listen to it right now. Here we go. You know, I've had a lot of people talk to me or ask me questions about how I got into shape and um, what I did, what I ate, how I trained, what I did, how hard is it at your age, and all of these things. And honestly, I just wanted to take a second to just say, yeah, I had to turn up and I had to, yep, I had to do those deadlifts and I had to eat those meals, but I had an incredible team that helped me. When I say team, I'm gonna mention like eight people. And because there's not a hope in hell I would've got there without them. First, I mainly wanna mention Beth Lewis, who's been my trainer for five years now and has trained me for doing an arena show, for doing a Broadway musical and for doing this. I am in better shape and when I say shape, what I mean is physical health my knees, my shoulders that have bothered me for years, gone. She's helped me get through this, get the results I needed, but feeling fantastic. She never makes me overwork. She made me realize that I had been overworking in the past. She always was present, thoughtful, kind, and then when it was time to push me, she could push me. Beth, you really were the quarterback for this whole thing, and I am beyond grateful that I have you supporting me on these journeys that I'm on. And there was a period where Beth, uh, when I was in London, where my friend Michael Ryan came in to train me um, for about, it was about a month when Beth had to go back and we were on hiatus because of the strike. Um, Michael, <laughs> I love you, Mike. And Mike and I have been training together since I was 20. So that was just awesome. And then I want to talk about the people who helped me eat right, because for a year, I didn't have to think about what I was shopping for cooking for. I just had someone counting up my macros, which for those people who don't know is basically how many grams of protein or fat or carbohydrate you have at different phases in your training in order to get the result. And Mario was the main one here in America who would deliver food for me that was delicious and fresh and sometimes bland because it had to be, but always healthy and sourced beautifully. And then in England there was Saul and on the weekends I had Sarah and for over a year, I'm gonna say a year and a half, I had someone preparing me meals, which made it so much easier. Then there was Whitney, my makeup artist, who was called in to, yep, put on, I don't even know what it was, some kind of oil to make my skin glisten. <laughs> You'd hear Sean Levy yell out, fresh lube on Hugh, and everyone would sort of cringe a little bit. Uh, not cringe, laugh. Um, and while I'm at it, Ryan and Sean, and I'm saying this as producers, as directors, who are like constantly like, tell me the date you want it. When we're doing that power room scene with your shirt off, what date is it? I said, I need it on this date and we can't move it. And it was locked in. And Zulu, our first AD, who I've done so many movies with, who literally the day we, we I knew he was on, he goes, okay, how are we gonna land this plane, man? How are we gonna land this plane? Tell me which day you want um, to be and I'll lock it in and no one will be able to move it. And he understood the process. And then on the day, because I was grumpy, I was not having water the night before. I was eating tilapia and beans for days and uh, how to make that day work best for me. Everyone on set was just making it easy. So if you're still listening, thank you. Um, but it's really important to me that I acknowledge those people who have spent a lifetime doing what they do. I mean it, they're at the top of their game, they're the best in the world, and I feel so privileged to have them in my corner, and I would not have achieved that result without them, so thanks. I think it's great that he thanked his team of eight people that got him into shape. Uh, the fact that he didn't have to prepare meals for a year and a half, uh, that they were delivered to him, ready to go, ready to eat. Um, you know, a lot of times the studio takes on that cost. This isn't something he pays for out of his own pocket. If you're on a movie like Deadpool Wolverine, the studio pays for the gyms, the trainers, the everything. And look, the one thing that he kind of leaves out, which all these superhero guys leave out, is testosterone replacement therapy. You can't in your 50s look like Hugh Jackman without pharmacological help. You just can't. And I, I know there's a stigma. They don't want to tell people because 
you know, they, 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 they don't want to look like they're not role models for people, but they have to be up front and go, yeah, you have to get on gear to look like this um, on top of everything else that you're doing, the food, the counting, the macros, the fact that he just has to show up and everything else is done for him shows how unrealistic superhero films are for actors. You just can't get into that shape. And then I've heard countless stories during the media uh, press junket where uh, Hugh talks about dehydrating himself right before the scene. That week he starts sipping water and, and you know, the week prior he's doing 20 liters a day of water to oversaturate himself so that when he stops his body literally like a vacuum sucks all the water out of him because it's starving for all the water that it was getting and that's what gives you that completely ripped look and uh but yeah man i, I really wish they would step up and and be honest with people because it's just so unrealistic for people to try to emulate uh this or they go to the gym and they're doing everything that he says you're supposed to do and they're not getting those results is because they're not getting the pharmacological help so anyway, I, I just would love to see them uh, uh, come out with that one day. I, I, I think it would be nice because it would just let people know, hey, look, this shit isn't real.